Hello everyone! I'm currently hyped up on sugar, so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to tell you all a tale from my past. In a series of videos I'm going to refer to as Hazuki's History. Or some shit like that. My name's not even Hazuki. But it sounded catchy at the time of thinking of it. Okay? So if this isn't called Hazuki's History or something to that effect, then I changed my mind. People can do that. Let us begin. Back when I were a wee little nipper around the age of six, maybe seven, maybe even eight, me and my mother were on the way to my cousin's house, and we passed a location that had a bouncy castle, and I jumped for joy at the idea of that. So my mother, always being the supportive lady she was, let me go on it. But what I didn't realise is you had to stay on it for two or three minutes. And they don't let you out until it's over. And that sounds like, hey, that's not too bad. Two or three minutes of fun? What's wrong with that? But no, when they pile on everyone else, all jumping at different speeds and rhythms, it's like, oh my god, what have I set myself in for? Ah, ah this is terrible. Personal space. Stop bouncing, everyone! So, after what ended up being two to three minutes of pure hell, that still scars me to this day. I went off, almost feeling sick, but I held my stomach in, like the iron-gutted champion I was. Iron-stomached. Let's just go with it. And as we were approaching my cousin's house, we passed a sh My mother went into a shop called Superdrug, which, the older I get, the stranger that name seems. They don't even sell drugs. But yes. So, while my mother went in there to do whatever she had to do in there, I went off to see what I could get for myself. You know, I didn't want whatever the adults go in there for, but I found these little sweets with an S on them that looked like Skittles, but maybe like an off-brand version. So, you know, I went up to my mother and I said, Hey, you! Yes, you! Buy these for me! And she did. You know, probably to shut me up at the time, but it still worked. So. I took these little supposed uh, Skittle sweets, you know, you, you get that a lot. Everything has an off-brand version, so I didn't think anything of it. And as I got to my cousin's house, there's an older cousin who's male, a slightly younger cousin who's female, and another little cousin who at the time probably wasn't born. So let's write them out of the story completely. Now, yes, so just me and two other cousins. And when I finally got there, I shared the sweets among them as a celebration, which I remember calling my surviving the bouncy castle incident or adventure or whatever. Details are fuzzy, but go with it. So we shared these sweets equally. There were probably about 15, maybe 16. You share those. I know that doesn't divide by three unless it's 15, but just go with it. OK, so sassy, you theoretical audience. Very, very sassy. But yes, so after that we carried on about our day for a while, just hanging out, as kids do. But then, about an hour later, all of a sudden, something didn't feel right. We all had rumblings in our tumblings, and our bumblings. And then all of a sudden, we all felt the need to rush to the toilet, all in one go. And since it wasn't my house, I didn't have the opportunity, I didn't have dibs, you know, the gentleman code. Although I guess guests go first depending on, anyway, ramble, ramble. So yes, what ended up happening is we were all essentially fighting each other to get to that toilet. Because, little did I know, being an eight-year-old who doesn't read the writing on the back of packets, these were actually laxatives. That's right, I just shared laxatives with my cousin. And the funny thing is, you were supposed to have one per day to help ease your bowel movements. We had about four to six each, depending on how many were in that packet. <laughs> that was not a good day, but I remember it very vividly, except for the bits I forgot. So, there's a life lesson in there somewhere. Don't buy sweets from a place that mainly sells pills for adults and some toothpaste and mouthwash. You're not going to be finding Skittles in there, matey boy. 
even if it looks like a slightly thicker Skittle with an S branding on it. Pro tip! 